Hi you guys, Luke Fuck here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the 86 rated Sevilla Cam Jovetic. He cost me 77,000 coins and in the 5 games that I played with him he scored me 5 goals and got me 0 assists. He has a high medium work rate along with a 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. So let's now get into his in game stats and highlights. Okay guys, so you're going to open towards Jovetic's in game stats, the 4 main stats on this card which stood out to me are his 90 attack positioning, his 89 finishing, his 89 shot power and his 94 ball control. He doesn't have any specialists but does have the traits of injury prone, flair, long shot taker and backs into player. And guys, before we get up into the pros and cons of this card, I am talking a lot more quiet in this video because there are people uh, asleep in the house whilst I'm recording this video and I'm actually in my conservatory right now so definitely a different surrounding uh, for uh, my recordings. Uh, today, but anyway guys getting up into the pros of this card for me his first pro was his dribbling He does have 90 dribbling on his card and that is by far his best stats He also does have the likes of the 94 ball control, which is very very nice on that card as well um his dribbling was fantastic. It was probably one of his best ways to kind of get through where de like defenders and midfielders. He was so so good at that. His build up play was so so good by himself because he was able to create chances with that dribbling and also his really good ball control. I was very very impressed with his dribbling. It's a very very good stat. His second proof for me uh, was his positioning. His positioning was also very very good in the right places. He was making the right runs. Um, so it was very very easy for like, the likes of Suarez and Deco to kind of assist uh, Jovetic with. Um, assists basically and creating chances for him and um, yet yeah, Jovetic just got into the right positions for me which I was very very glad to see however that is an end to these this guy's pros uh, for me his one con is that he's just an inconsistent player for me uh, mainly his finishing his finishing at times was really really good you'll see some of the goals that he scores are really really nice but then at the same time his finishing at times wasn't very good and it was really frustrating. There were chances where he was through one-on-one -on -one opportunities and he wasn't even hitting the target and it was so, so frustrating for me because I expected more from a guy that does have 90 shots, uh, sorry, 89 shots as well as 89 finishing. I did expect more and he just didn't really deliver overall in the finishing for me to be good enough in that area. His physical wasn't bad but at the same time it definitely wasn't great. Uh, his pace was also kind of a little bit annoying as well uh, and then his passing, I couldn't really tell about his passing in the striker position but what I would say after using this card is guys I do think the cam position is best for this card when I looked at this card when it came out I thought I want to try my a striker first um but I think the cam position definitely does suit him best 100% uh, with that 87 passing as well. I think it'll just be better and also the pace doesn't matter as much in the cam position. So I definitely think the cam would suit him a lot more than a striker. But guys, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. He wasn't bad, but um, I wouldn't play him as a striker. Definitely cam is where you want to play this card. But anyway, guys, that's going to finish off this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later.